Hey, how vibes, how vibes, how vibes, how vibes? We're raising the vibes up. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I just want to make this message not too long, not too quick, or not too short. Just get right down to the point. But how vibes to the RTM fam, how vibes to the MC, how vibes to RTM Spiritual Tools. It's no longer Viber Nation if you guys want to purchase the high vibes jewelry or get in tune with the um, spiritual information and, you know, just really turn up. It's actual RTM spiritual tools. I'll put it in the link in the description. If you do decide to purchase something, just type in the code AJAX10, AJAX10 to get 10% off so you can keep turning up. You help me turn up. You help yourself turn up. You help RTM turn up. And not only are you turning up, but we're, we're we, we're turning up you know we want to turn up together you know what i'm saying like we that's the whole point of like coming together you know what i'm saying that's the whole point of like us being here is to come back together as one and recognizing the spirit in me is the spirit in you and rising together as one so yeah i just want to talk to i just want to talk about you know i know a lot of people i want to say a lot of people maybe even women experience this but i know some guys experience this a lot like the ego gets involved in whether or not you want to like talk to a girl because you want to connect with her or talk to the girl because you want to fuck her. You know what I'm saying? And I noticed ever since I really been doing the six month challenge of no sex, the NPA, the matrix has been sending, you know, a lot of beautiful in my, rea- a lot of beautiful women in my reality, which is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing wrong with if you, if you observe the woman to like appreciate the beauty of the makeup of the woman. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing wrong with that. But are we lusting? Are we allowing the ego to come in to come into our infiltrate our mind while spirit is trying to flow through our mind? I mean, while spirit is trying to flow through the mind and body, are are we allowing the ego to infiltrate the spiritual flow from within to like connect with an actual person, whether it be a woman or a woman or a guy, whatever the case is. And the reason why I'm saying that is like, are we looking at women? Are we looking at people in general and 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 ha- having them as objects, not just objects, but having the ego come involved of like lusting after them. And I notice, you know, I have to tame my ego a little bit more because I've noticed I've been looking at women like not me, but, you know, the ego like try to infiltrate to where it wants me to look at women to get enticed, to get that sexual energy and to become a vampire. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you talk to a person, it should come from like spirit of like, how can I give? How can I connect? That's how you know when spirit is like flowing through you. It's like, how can I give? How can I connect? But like the ego wants to have sex with the girl that you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw this lady really nice, but I'm not going to sit here and lie. Really nice, but beautiful face, nice breasts. I right when I looked at her, I was like, man, I want to I wouldn't mind having sex with her. That's my initial thoughts. You know, then I'm like, man, why do I want to have sex with her? And I'm like, that is the ego. My spirit does not want to have sex with this woman. My spirit would love to connect with another spirit in general, whether she's beautiful, whether she's fat, whether she's ugly, whatever the case may be. My spirit wants to connect. Have you ever noticed when you connect, you feel not only stimulated good, but like spiritually good? Because I remember I was talking to I forgot the other brother. We were just talking about how like he'll look at porn. And the whole reason why you're looking at porn is to get that stimulation. You know, we can get a stimulation based off communicating with another person, doing tapping into our hobbies, doing our disciplines. We can stimulate, we can spiritually stimulate ourselves by doing what I just said. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have to unnaturally stimulate ourselves by drinking or doing drugs or looking at porn and masturbating and stuff like that that is an artificial stimulus that's actually stimulating the ego it's not even stimulating you because you need more of it you know when you when you're spiritually stimulated when you're spiritually satisfied you're okay that's why a lot of people when they they like example like when they do no fat a lot of people are doing no fat because they want to connect but they're connecting with an artificial stimulus. They're connecting not only with artificial stimulus on the outside, but they're connecting that with their ego. So they think that the feeling, the connection is what's really happening. But it's it's all a lie. It's all a deception from the ego. So basically, this this whole video is to like observe, like, do you want to connect with a woman? Because do you want to talk to the woman because you want to connect with her and get to know her? and give something in return 
You know what I'm saying? Do you spiritually want to connect with it? Because everything starts with spirit first. And we always got to put spirit first because if you don't know the ego identifiers and spiritual communication, highly suggest you guys check out the ebook down below called Ego Identifiers, Spiritual Communications by the MC. Gratitude for the MC for putting those high vibes and the right spiritual information in order so we can really turn up spiritually, mentally, and physically so we can tame the ego and rise in the spirit every single day. You know what I'm saying? There's so many deception lies out here to get you to tune into the ego, to get you tuned into the other world, underworld mentality. And if you don't have the proper um, codes to identify and like everything is information. So these are codes that's like going to help you activate more like awareness within you. It's going to just help you just become more act like activated, you know, like we want to become more aware. We want to become more alert. We want to become just like it. I don't want to say become. We want to be alert we want to be aware you know we don't want to become mc just said don't become because if you're trying to become you're going to continuously trying to become something that you already are so just be who you are so yeah next time you find yourself looking at a, and i'm not saying looking at a woman is bad but what do you look how are you looking at the woman that's the thing what perspective what type of lens are you looking at the woman and is it feeding your ego are you tuning in the spirit to like observe the woman of like, OK, this might be a high vibing woman, you know what I'm saying? And then connect with her like that and see where it goes, you know, because we don't want to be a ego puller and we don't want to tune into the ego. And we want to be able to see people, the world, everything at a higher perspective, higher awareness so we can turn up. Because if you're feeding the ego your energy, you're not going to turn up. The only thing that you're going to do is continuously feed the ego and make the ego stronger and make your spirit weak. Make the spiritual connection weak. You know, we want to make the spiritual connection strong. So, yeah, that's just something that I'm doing every single day is like, man. OK, I know like it's been I think it's been about a month and a half since I had sex. And of course, you know, we have the hormones raging. We have the testosterone raging. We have all these things as a man rate like, you know, pulsating inside our body where we want to connect. But like, do we want to do we want to like connect out our ego? Or do we want to connect spiritually? And I know a lot of guys watch pickup and that's great. And, you know, I was in the pickup game and, you know, I was in the pickup game for a while. And I know like. I know how it is and I know like a lot of it is like not necessarily spiritually based, but some stuff is spiritual, but it's not the right spiritual information, man. And yeah, just definitely whenever you interact with people, just see where it's coming from. And man, I'm, I'm heating up right now. So, yeah, that's all that I want to share with you guys is like, man, I'm still observing myself. And like, oh, another thing that I was going to say about emotions, like how like we're feeling the testosterone, we're feeling the energy within us build, we're feeling all that stuff to where we want to go and approach women. But we aren't these feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like we can't be led by the thing in our pants, you know, by our penis, by our dick, whatever you want to call it. We can't be led by the, the underworld head. We got to be led with the upper world, you know what I'm saying? The upper world mentality, the upper world head. And I'm not saying like, oh, by our mind, but like allowing spirit to flow through the mind to where we could be led by spirit through the mind, you know, spirit flow through the mind. That's what you want. You want to have spirit hit all the points spiritually, mentally and physically and have that have that will have that trinity in full motion. So it's like a lot of times we'll make decisions based off of how we're feeling, but we're not these feelings and we're not these emotions and all of this makeup, like all of these feelings, emotions and in, in the makeup of our body, the female body and this this and that came with the matrix system, because when, you know, we go on to the next our body stays here so that's how you know these feelings these emotions these all this stuff that's pulsating in the body and you're feeling good isn't you and we got to be able to override that and tame that and have spirit flow through that perfectly in a, in a perfect alignment with the spirit mind body so hopefully you got this guy hopefully you guys got this message Woo! we're turning up so i want to say my full love to everybody that's watching this my full love to the rtm fam my full love um to the MC and my full love to myself for turning up and for recognizing the ego identifier. Peace in, peace out. Hey, how vibes, how vibes, how vibes, how vibes. Hopefully you guys watched part one. This is part two. I forgot to add about like 
the feelings and the emotions of how like people are led by their feelings and emotions and don't know that they're the observer of those feelings of these of those emotion of those thoughts of everything that's happening on a physical and even mental level all of that and even spiritual you're the observer of everything that's happening so a misconception goes where people talk about like man well it's natural uh to want to procreate with women or it's natural to have an attraction to a woman or to a, or to a man and stuff and stuff like that like it's natural yes it is natural but what naturality is it coming from and when I'm saying where is it coming from, see, we have to we have to really understand what's really going on here, you know. And if you really want to know, I highly suggest you visit ReprogramTheMatrix.com. It's a reason why it's called ReprogramTheMatrix.com. And if you've seen The Matrix, The Matrix movie, what are they in? What are they doing? You know what I'm saying? They're in a stimulation. And if our website and our community is called Reprogram The Matrix. What do you think that means? We are in a simulation. So we have to understand the body, the emotions, the, the feelings, everything that we are experiencing here. We have to understand how, where did it come from? What's happening? Why are we feeling this stuff like that? So basically what I'm saying is like how people are talking about how it's natural to procreate, how it's natural to have multiple women and, you know, all that stuff is natural, but it's natural in the simulation and the body. The mind is a part of the simulation. Your spirit is not a part of the simulation. So just real quick, like I said, if you want to know more high vibing information, and if you really want to turn up on the spirit, mind, body level, because the time is now to really get in tune with who you are and to rise into spirit every single day, check out reprogramthematrix.com. Seriously. You know, so when I was talking about how the feelings, the emotions, procreating with, with like they say, OK, yeah, you know, our genes are genetically programmed to want to continuously reproduce and carry on the gene and continue that gene alive. Like if I have sex, you know, my genes want to continuously reproduce and have sex with as many women as possible. But where is that based off of? Why? How do we get that programming? You know what I'm saying? To continuously reproduce and program i mean reproduce and have as many like of course like you know um in order to reproduce and continue continue your gene to express itself you have to have a lot of sex and men say like man well i'm just being a man but you're not a man you're not a woman you're experiencing you're observing the shell that you're in the your ptu system whether you're a female watching this or male watching this you're experiencing that you're observing that you're neither a ma male or a female your body your 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 gender all that came with the matrix system so we have to look back at that as like what are we what are, like not just what are we but the feelings the emotions the, wanted to have sex and have babies and procreate and all that stuff. Like I said, it came like the programming <coughs> of the man of the male and female came with the stimulation. So that's how you know. That's a clear indication that you aren't this body, that you aren't the feelings, that you aren't the emotions. You're the exact observer of that. You are spirit. So it's pretty much an indication of like the upper world mentality versus the underworld mentality. Yes, there's nothing wrong with and, and let me clear this. There's nothing wrong with having sex and, and procreating and stuff like that. But when we attach ourselves to the sex, to the feelings, to the emotions, to the to the uh, nat natural uh, naturalness of the man, of the female dynamics and stuff like that, then we're attaching ourselves to this physical illusion. And that's when I'm talking about understanding the sexual energies and lustful energies of like, that's not who you are. You're experiencing that. You're observing that. And that's how you can override that because that's not you. You know, 